Hi YouTube, I'm going to be reviewing the SG-552, the otherwise known as just the SIG by um, Swiss Arms. This is the Swiss Arms brand name one. Uh, it's a very good gun. It's uh, This isn't any crappy plastic, this is nice solid plastic. It's got some metal parts too, like the safety trigger, uh, the stock connecting thing. Um, the scope did not come with it though. Uh, that's my sniper rifle scope. If you've seen my sniper uh, video, uh, since I don't use my sniper rifle much, and people don't usually like me to use it, uh, I put it on this gun, and uh, it didn't uh, come with a little flashlight either. I put that on. Uh, it's it's mainly just an actual little flashlight, not those crappy airsoft ones. Hooked on a ring mount thing, and then that's just hooked on the side of the gun. But, uh, it did come with, uh, two mags. So you can hook them together, like this, and, uh, you can take them apart. Here, um, they're a little hard. Um, there. They hook on with these little things. Uh... It's almost impossible to load one of these without a speed loader. Uh, so, you're going to probably want a speed loader. This does not come with a speed loader. So, go and buy yourself one. So, um, they got these little clips with bullets in them, which are actually little plastic things that people are always asking me, are those real bullets? And I'm just like, no, it'd be a ton heavier. But anyway, this does weigh, um, five or six pounds and uh... it's a pretty nice gun and um... it shoots maybe uh... two seventy two seventy five fps which is around um... ninety or something feet uh... it's pretty accurate it's like um... at close range it is very accurate at medium range it's still pretty accurate, and at long range, it's, you can kind of hit stuff, but, um, yeah, it's it's alright. It's a spring gun, it's not, um, automatic or battery operated. The bolt on the side of the gun is metal, so don't worry about breaking this, it'll be just fine. I mean, everything, this, this whole thing right here, the bolt, everything. Uh, which is cool about this gun, is when you cock it, you can see inside the gun, which is kind of interesting to see if they actually got a bullet in there or not. And, uh, which is also cool if you like CQB and you don't really want the stock and you you always lose crap. You can always, there's a little button right there that you can push and the stock flips over like that. And then it clicks right on that little knobby thing there. So you can just click that right there. Stays. Doesn't come off. The only bad thing is that I'm kind of worried that it's going to break whenever I pull this off. You just got to, like, yank it. There's no button or anything. But it's also kind of cool because this also works as a handle. You know, like, one hand here, one hand there instead of up there. Um, but, yes, I would give this gun a really... Uh, good review. Um, well, I I really like this gun. It's not any crappy plastic. It's got actual metal. It's very accurate. It uh, each mag holds um sixty something rounds, which is a lot if you got two of them. So uh, yeah, this gun is very nice. I would recommend this to anybody. This is a good rifle. Uh. I would not compare one of these to an M16. This is tons of better.